Hey Gemini, this is your weekly reading for um, October 17th, 2021. Jeez Louise. All right, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want to follow me on TikTok, all my information that you need to know about me is down below. Everything. Down to my blood type. Not really. Okay. So. And also if you haven't started following me here. Please subscribe. If you would like. Like your video. And. Yeah. I think that's it. Comment if you want to. Alright. So for the collective crystals. I picked Rainbow Aura Quartz and Selenite. Both of these crystals clear out bullshit. They clear out toxic bullshit. That is within ourselves. That is from our outside realm. That is from past lives. Whatever. However it pertains to you. However it resonates for you. What you need to clean out. These crystals are the ones to go to. Um, you can find out more information on Google about these crystals and where you can purchase them. Me, myself, I got this one off of a store on Etsy. I don't remember the store name. And I got this one as a gift from my sister. So, and it was at some cavern. So, you do want to be careful when buying crystals from uh, stores. Make sure that they're legit. Once again, you can find ways on Google how to do that. But yeah, these are the collective crystals I picked because I feel like everybody is going through a transformation of cutting out old shit and bringing in new shit. So you want to make sure that the old shit that you're cutting out is everything that you need to cut out and all the stuff that you are bringing in is good stuff that you need. So let's go into your reading, Gemini. Spirit, what lovely messages do you have for my Gemini babies for the week of October 17th, Alright, we already have the devil coming up. You could be dealing with devil energy. It could be yourself. It could be somebody else. Um, either way, this is toxic behavior that's coming to the light. That is being addressed. Um, with the emperor. But it's being addressed with pride in the forefront. So, once again, this could be you or it could be somebody else, Gemini. Like somebody either fighting you or you're fighting it. Two of Wands in reverse. I feel like somebody is like, nope, we are not going forward with this bullshit. Um... Yeah, you're not going forward with this at all. You're learn. It, it's like you learned a lesson. Like this is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is all about lessons. It's about structure. It's about authority. It's about like, yeah, structure. I think I already said that. But it is leaving you with the Six of Swords. Here's the King of Wands and the Eight of Swords. This could actually be a new, okay. I feel like you're leaving something in the past, but you're skeptical about moving forward to a different energy. And I feel like that this 
maybe a different energy. Um, the King of Wands is all about taking a chance. It's almost like uh, taking a chance, very confident in their space. Now, this could be your energy or it could be another person. But for the Six of Swords, the energy of the Six of Swords is not being sure about wanting to. You want to take the journey, but you're not sure about the journey. And so with the King of Wands coming in, a person that could have, uh, they could have fire placement, but they could also just be holding the energy. And once again, this energy could be yourself of being extremely confident and being um, a very charming and you let your defenses down quickly. <laughs> Like the blindfolds come off, the binds come off, and you're like, okay. So I do feel like you're leaving like a sense of a sabotaging relationship in the background or a sabotaging energy in the background. And it's like you learned your lesson with it, and here you sit. Like, where do I go with these lessons? And then there's this energy. Of wanting to show you or you know um, very charming very exciting to you um, handsome or pretty not gender specific but you know it's the energy that I'm talking about so and then you have the four pinnacles you know the four pinnacles um, could be a celebration. You could see this person as a uh, potential marriage, wedding, spouse material. Like you kind of see a future in them. And I feel like that this energy is going to catch you off guard. Like it's going to be like coming out of left field. This card popped out, which is the King of Pentacles. So you do see this person as being, um, or this, once again, it could be your energy, but I'm feeling like it's another person. Has like a double king energy. Like they're exciting to you. You find a passion within yourself when you're talking to them or, you know, whatever the case may be. But then there's a sense of feeling stable and feeling safe with this person and, feeling like you're taken care of they're very giving when it comes to money or they're very giving when it comes to um what they have to offer it doesn't necessarily have to be about money but they're very giving and you know that they are and here's the chariot so this could and here's your ace of pentacles so you definitely feel as if this is a prominent um, a very prominent energy that has lots of potential of building a new beginning for you. This is sweet, Gemini. Like, this is really sweet. I feel like it's going to give you a sense of self. And it's going to help lessen your load that you carry on yourself. Like, you feel like you can share the burdens. And you are manifesting this energy, this person. You might feel a little sense of imbalance, you know. They might have some things that they're working on to where you fit. You feel like they might be a little imbalanced. Or this could be unbalancing you a little bit because it catches you off guard. But for some reason, I feel like this could possibly be the person's energy of being unbalanced. Like, maybe they are working on something within themselves and they've been honest with you about it. Or, you know, maybe they are telling you um, that they just have some things to work on. Or this could be yourself, you know. Sometimes we can feel like that we have a sense of self until we fall in love. 
that's just the way the fucking cookie crumbles, you know? So this could be a sense of you losing your own sight of who you are because of this person uh, coming into play. But don't lose sight of yourself because remember that's what brought you two together in the first place. Or you in this other energy. This card just fell out. Yeah, see, look. Nine of Cups. So I feel like that you you are... It's not all the way there at the Ten of Cups. But it's like working towards it. And this is like a glow up card. You know, like you're feeling the confidence. You're feeling the connection. You are feeling the positivity of it. And you're wanting to go forward with it. It's not quite there. But you're willing to put the work in for it. Because you see it as being worth it. Even with the imbalance. So it's like um, you don't mind working towards this connection. And I feel like that they probably don't mind working towards you either. So that's what I have for you for this week, Gemini. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. Don't lose sight of yourself. All right. Have a good one. Sending you love.